Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Rajesh and I'm back with another PC build video. This will be a 13,000 rupees PC build. Those who are looking for a PC for their office or home just for web surfing, music, Word, Excel, PDF and official work, this is the right PC just for 13,000. I will be sharing all the component detail, pricing and then we'll assemble it. I will be sharing all the component details in the description box so go ahead and check out the description for the links to check the latest price or to purchase so let's begin with the component details and their pricing and then we'll assemble the pc so starting with the processor we have got the ethlon processor this is amd ethlon 200 ge it has integrated gpu so you don't really have to add additional gpu so yeah the graphic card is not mandated this is available for just 4600 rupees and uh, pretty much a decent processor just for 4600 it will do your multitasking word powerpoint excel work and multitasking that is sufficient for a regular home or an office pc so this is for 4600 for the motherboard, we have got ASRock A320M HDV. This has got VGA and HDMI port both. Support 2 RAMs up to 32 GB. We're gonna put 4 GB RAM into this PC. If in case you was to put 8 GB, you can do it. Multitasking would be better. So yeah, this is for 3550 rupees. And it does support the Athlon processor, Ryzen processor both. So yeah, this is the motherboard which we're gonna use for this build. For the cabinet, we have got Zebronic here for 899 rupees only, and that would let you fit all the components easily. If in case you have something else in your mind, you can buy that. For SSD, we have got Kingston A400 120 GB SSD. This is for 1600 rupees, and we will install the Windows into this and also our softwares. We will not be putting any hard drive because this is an official PC. Storage is not required, it's just it would be online work altogether and few Word and Excel work. So, so 120 GB SSD will be more than enough to put your Excel, PDF uh, and Word files along with uh, surfing internet. So no hard drive for now, just 120 GB SSD to install Windows, few files and some softwares just for 1600 this will really increase the system speed trust me if in case you use hard drive try to switch on ssd and you will really see a really really good jump in performance and speed so 1600 for kingston 120 gb ssd for ram we have got gskill ages ddr4 this is 2400 megahertz 4 gb ram available for 2190 rupees only However, if in case you want to add 2 RAM, you can do that. For our build, we'll be adding just 4 GB RAM and in future, it would be upgraded. So, it's your choice. Either you want to go with Corsair Vengeance or G-Skill or any other brand. Go for 3000 MHz or at least 2400 MHz 4 GB. So, this is for 2190 rupees. And as per our budget, this suits really well. So, this is 4 GB DDR4. For power supply, we are using a cheap 550 rupees Zebronic brand power supply which comes with one year warranty. It does the job perfectly well. However, if in case you don't want to compromise on power supply, you can probably buy Cooler Master or Corsair. This is for 550 rupees. However, the Corsair or Cooler Master will cost you 2450 rupees. So almost a difference in price of uh, 1900. So yeah. If in case you used to get a certified power supply, Cooler Master Corsairs has got it for 2450 rupees. But the problem is, I would not recommend this cabinet in that case. Let me tell you why. The Zebronic cabinet has a power supply option on the top because the Zebronic power supply has a fan which take out the hot air from the power supply from here. So it will fit that way. So the fan would be towards here and uh, it will throw the air outside this way. Now the problem is with the Cooler Master and Corsair you have to get a premium case where the power supply fits in the bottom because this power supply has a fan in the bottom. It will not throw the air this way, This it will throw the air to the bottom side. What is the problem then? The problem is when you fit a motherboard over here the processor will be right over there. When you will install a power supply of Cooler Master or Corsair, it will definitely fit here. 
but the fan would be towards downward so it the power supply really generates a lot of heat after using for four or five hours what will happen the hot air from the power supply will be pushed downward that means towards the cpu fan and if in case the cpu temperature increases it will lose its performance and of course its life as well so make sure you upgrade the cabinet which is maybe Corsair, Cooler Master, Entec, NZXT or any branded cabinet which has the power supply option in the bottom if in case you wish to use any of this branded power supply make sure you do that for this case this power supply suits really well and we're gonna use with this it will really suit our budget but make sure those who don't want to compromise on power supply then the alternate is spend a bit more on power supply of course which is worth it but again case needs to be changed either the hot air would be flown towards the cpu and you won't get performance because of overheating of the processor all right so that's about the component detail and their pricing the prices which i've shared in this video is today's price make sure to check the link in the description box below for the latest price also i'll be installing a genuine windows why because it will really increase the performance most of the pirated window they have more cpu uses when you use a genuine window or license the cpu uses goes down yes it is true you can try yourself and the window key is available really cheap just for 9.99 rupees that's today's price make sure you check the link in the description box i'll share the link for the windows as well 9.99 for the windows and you get a genuine license for your windows 10 professional home so we'll be putting windows 10 professional so that's about the component detail let's just begin with the pc build The CPU fan comes with pre-applied thermal paste. You don't have to add additional thermal paste. This will do the job perfectly well. Once you are done with the window installation, you have to go on Google and look for AMD Athlon 200GE. Click this link. Uh, go to Driver and Support. And then download the driver. There are two drivers as of now which is updated there. We have to update the latest one. This was on the month of April. 
and the one which is in the top is in the month of May. So we'll download the May version, the latest one. Alright so we are done with the PC assembled and the window has been installed. I would like to show a few things before I proceed further. How is the speed for the PC? So I'll open some app and I'll show you a real time. So this is Chrome and I'll do new tab, new tab. At the same time I'll go ahead and search for Excel and open it. That was quick. At the same time I'll go for Word. okay done okay then i'll close the stuff again here again i'll go for word that was fast excel again okay now let's just go ahead and minimize open chrome gmail.com okay new tab new tab let's open microsoft edge a new tab open excel so do you see how fast is the pc due to ssd this pc is performing really fast this is the benefit of getting an ssd it really works fast so 120 uh, GB out of that after installing Microsoft Office, Windows, Acrobat Reader, we have 88 GB of free space which is enough for putting few files of Excel and uh, PDF. So that's about uh, the performance for this PC. Let me show you the properties here. So it says Windows 10 Professional installed and it launched 200 GB with Redon Vega uh, inbuilt graphics so it has got 4 GB of uh, RAM out of which 3.43 GB is usable because the Red and Vega does hold some RAM and 64 bit of Windows that's about the performance we are done with the PC build yes we did check Excel PowerPoint Word and Chrome it was performing really fast in real life situation chrome tabs were easy to access and was quick so for 13,000, it's a value for money pc for your office for your home if, if in case you are not into much gaming then probably this is the best pc i would recommend and regarding the power supply if in case you feel that you can spend more then corsair or cooler master power supply would really really increase the life of the pc as it is 80 plus and this is a cheap power supply but we're gonna stick with the cheaper one because our budget is 13,000 rupees. Also, the cabinet which we have used for 899, don't expect a very good cable management on that because that is very simple. Just you can install all the parts and it will work fine. So, cable management will not be that great. Apart from that, everything is great about the PC and I am happy with the performance. So if in case you have any questions do let me know in the comment box below I would love to answer them and don't forget to subscribe as it really motivates me to make some more videos for you. Thank you for watching till the end. Stay happy and stay blessed. Bye bye. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram for our latest update about our channel. Thank you for watching till the end. Bye bye. And I'll see you in the next video.